HMAS Adelaide, FFG01, during her career, Adelaide was part of Australian responses or contributions to the 1987 Fijian coups d'état, the Iraq invasion of Kuwait, the Indonesian riots of May 1998, the Interfay Peacekeeping Task Force, the war in Afghanistan, and the United States-led invasion of Iraq. In 2008, Adelaide was the second ship of the class to be decommissioned, in order to offset the cost of an upgrade to the other four vessels. Adelaide was awarded the Gloucester Cup for being the most efficient ship in the RAN during 1984. In May 1987, Adelaide visited Fiji, and was alongside in Lautoka when the first of the 1987 Fijian coups d'etat occurred on May 14. Adelaide and sister ship Sydney, alongside in Suva, were instructed to remain off Fiji to aid in any necessary evacuation of Australian citizens, the first component of what became Operation Morris Dance. On August 10, Adelaide, sister ship Darwin, and the replenishment ship success were deployed to the Middle East as part of Operation Damask, Australia's participation in the international coalition enforcing sanctions against Iraq following that nation's invasion of Kuwait. In October 1992, Adelaide's home port was changed to HMAS Stirling, making her the first ship of the class home port in Western Australia under the Two Ocean Policy. Adelaide successfully found and rescued the sailors after seven days of searching by ships and aircraft. In February 1999, Adelaide was awarded the Duke of Gloucester Cup awarded to the most efficient ship in the RAN during the previous year. On October 6, 2001, Adelaide was the ship which intercepted SIEV-4, the event which sparked the children overboard affair. Under orders to prevent SIEVs from entering Australian waters, Adelaide attempted to warn the craft, carrying over 200 passengers, against crossing from international waters during the night and into October 7. From November 2001 to March 2002, Adelaide and the amphibious warfare ship Cannonball were deployed to the Middle East as part of Operation Slipper, the Australian contribution to the war in Afghanistan. The boarding party climbed back aboard Sham, took up defensive positions, and, according to BBC reporter Frank Gardner, warned to back off, using what was said to be highly colourful language. During the next 45 minutes, four more gunboats arrived, and the standoff lasted for four hours before the Australians were evacuated by Adelaide's Seahawk helicopter. The Australian Defence Force did not immediately report the incident to the media, as they felt no need to highlight it, and the attempted capture did not come to light until July 2007, when Gardner wrote about it following the capture of 15 British personnel during a similar incident in March 2007. A March 2010 reorganisation of battle honours awarded to RAND ships saw Adelaide retroactively honoured for her service with Interfay and during the war in Afghanistan, E66544FD94F4.